Hello and welcome to this video. In this video we are going to be transforming data. We are going to be adjusting column configuration from an input data stream. I'm going to delete the browse tool from the workflow. I just right click and delete from the workflow. The data we have connected to and brought into the workflow has some columns that have names that are not that clear. So we are going to make some adjustment to the column names. So to begin, I'm going to use a select tool. So I'm going to click on the select tool and then drag that into the canvas area. I've established a connection between the select tool and the input data tool. The select tool can be used to select, to deselect, to reorder and to rename fields. You can also use the select tool to change the field type or the size and also to assign a description. In the configuration window on the left, click the rename text box for the first column. So you can see here, I've clicked the rename text box for this first column. And I'm going to type in first name. I've typed in a name of first name under the rename text column, which is going to replace the original column name, which is called first. I also want to rename this column called last. So I want to make it more meaningful. So in the rename text box here, I'm going to call it last name. I've renamed the last column to last name. I also want to rename this email column. So I'm going to click on the rename column here. I'm going to rename it to registration email. I've added a rename for the email column. So I've called it registration email. You can expand the configuration window just by dragging that. And also there's a slider here. If you want to see the full details of all the columns displayed. I also want to reorder one of the columns. So I've got the email column selected. So I'm going to use this arrow here, just clicking on it will move that field up. You can see by clicking on the up arrow, it has moved the email column above the registration date and time. Now that I have made some transformation to the data, I'm going to run the workflow again. So I'm going to click on the run button. We can take a look at the result window and see the transformation we made on the data. So click on this icon here. This is the output icon. So if I click on that, we can see the changes. So you can see this is the first name column that we changed from first. And this is the last name column that we changed from last. And if I scroll through, you will see that we also have the registration email, which was changed from email. And we also reordered the registration email to come before the registration date and time. In this video, we perform some data transformation by modifying the columns. So we were able to make some adjustment to the column configuration and also reorder one of the columns. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.